2 we're going to proceed into getting process so why do i need process so now if you recall from the episode 1 we're able to create a server we call the server youtube watch as now on this server we're also able to install kegbot now if we try driving traffic from this server using our kegbot we're only going to be driving from one location let me make you understand what i mean so I'm going to right click OK bots and I'll run as administrator. I'm going to put in my API key. And now once it logs me in, I will head over to the section where you can turn the bot on and I will turn that bot on. So I'm logged in. So on the menu, I'm going to click on manage bots over here and I'm going to turn one of these bots on. Now the moment this bot comes on, I'm going to show you the IP address of this bot. So just to show you, I'm going to drag this bot over here or this browser over here and I'm going to visit who are.net now if you check the IP address of who are.net or if you open who are.net you see that the IP address is actually showing that this is from United States Ashburn now this is because this particular um, server which is this VPS we're currently using at the moment or this remote computer um, it's Amazon AWS and so that's why you can also see that the ISP is Amazon AWS so in a nutshell, this here shows you that for real, we are currently using like the IP address from this particular server. Now, if you try driving traffic or try to increase the watch hours of a particular YouTube video um, by you know just turning this on, you would have one big flaw. The big flaw is, for instance, let me show you an example. If I come over here and I try to put on the bot now what will happen is every single one of the browsers um, that would open now will be using Amazon IP in a nutshell they will all be coming on from one IP address oh I don't think this is what I intended no this is not what I intended um, I'm going to stop it okay I've stopped it okay so now it stopped I'm going to load this task called monetize task remember that you can create your own custom task and load it whenever you want so I'm going to um, load another custom task and what I'm supposed to load is what we call monetize task so I'm going to turn it on now every single one of those browsers you're going to see opening a YouTube video they're all practically loading that YouTube video with the Amazon IP now this is not good for business this is because the certain kind of IP addresses you would use that you know would not be accepted so if for instance I'm using Amazon IP you can see right here it's showing sign in to confirm you are not the bot so we were not even able to um, watch this video right I'm going to shut this down now most people complain around the following I was able to turn on OK bots for hours I wasn't able to get any watch hours um, why is it not working for me now most other people would say I was able to use OK bots for hours I was able to reach my monetization and this really works for me now the answer to the question relies on how each of the persons used OK bots for instance I could be driving views to a particular YouTube channel but instead of driving those views from one location, I could be driving those views from multiple locations. So how do I do that? Let me show you how. Firstly, I'm going to close OKEGBOT. And then I'll open OKEGBOT again from the beginning. And I'll put in my API key. Now, once it logs me in, 
I will not use this particular app itself to control Kegbots. I won't use this app itself because this app can only do one thing at a time. So instead, I would not close the app, but I will minimize it. If I minimize the app, you can see it's currently still there. I can open it anytime I want. But basically, I'm only minimizing it because I would want to access the app through Google. So now I'm going to double click on Google Chrome. Now Google Chrome has opened. Now from this Google Chrome, I can access the OKBot OK app. Now while we're accessing it through Google Chrome instead of the app itself, it will make sense to you later. But let me just show you what I would do next. I'm going to search for localhost 3000. Now once I search for localhost 3000, as long as I have this app on, sorry as long as I have this app on if I go to localhost 3000 after logging in I'm going to see the app interface here this means I can do basically anything I can do on this app over here but then if I close this app like now you can see it's closed it's no longer here and I refresh localhost 3000 you would see that nothing is here so in a nutshell localhost 3000 would only work if OKBot okay, is on. So let me turn it on again. And I'll put in my API key. And once it logs me in completely, I'll minimize the app itself. Now we'll head back to Google Chrome again and search for localhost 3000 okay so now we, get, we have this figured out so why am i showing you this i want to show you exactly what happened before so initially i had turned on the bot which happened to be this first bot over here and when i did turn on this bot sorry let me expand this when i did turn on this bot you can see it showed the default location let me refresh the page again so here you can see where it says the default location right now this default location means i want you to use the location of this computer now i already have some locations saved over here but because this will be a tutorial on how to do this for the first time i'm going to delete all the locations i have saved so i'm going to edit my proxy chain I have lots of them saved, but I would delete everything. Now I'm going to be doing this from the beginning, so this is practically why I'm deleting um, the proxy chains I have. So first, what is a proxy chain? Now should you want to use other IP addresses aside your machine IP address, you can add the proxy servers or the locations you would want to use onto your OKBot OK account. So for instance, I just emptied or deleted all my proxy chains. If I click here again, you'll see there is no proxy chain. This also means if I try to um, use the bot itself and I go over to this location, you notice the only thing that is here now is the default location. So what I was trying to show you is this. By default, Whenever you use any bot on OKBot, it uses the IP address of your machine or the computer. So in this case, when we were using that of, you know, this RUDP, it automatically used the IP address of the RUDP, which was Amazon. So if we want to drive traffic to a YouTube channel or load our ADX or Google AdSense, we have to use other IP addresses you know things that look more realistic so to get other IP addresses you have to go buy them yourself so I recommend one of these vendors and I already have them here and so this tutorial would show you practically on how to get IPs so this is my account with um, Cherry Prozy if you check the link you can see here cherryprozy.com and I'll be teaching you on how to buy IP addresses now, depending on what you would want to use the bot for, 
you would need to get a variety of IPs. For instance, we have data capped IPs. This is when you have to buy data. You'll be given lots of IP addresses, but you'll be given a specific data. So the moment you reach up to that data usage, your access to use the IP addresses, you know, get caught off. It's more like buying internet data from your service provider. Each time you own your data, it will automatically allow you browse with a different IP as you know your ISP pleases or your phone carrier pleases or your network pleases, network provider pleases. Now you can keep browsing with you know any IP they, they give to you. But then the moment your data, which is the data you subscribed for, finishes, you know, you'll be told to subscribe to another data plan. Now the same thing happens when you are actually buying um, a data cap over here. Now, however, you might want to say, I want unlimited. That means I don't want you to, you know, um, cap my data. Now, if that is what you would want, um, do note that you will not be giving a um, lot of IP addresses. You could be giving just one IP address and that specific IP address will be unlimited. So you can use it to download whatever you want to download, watch whatever videos you want to watch, do whatever you want to do, and nobody would um, charge you or stop you because you know you got a certain number of your know, um, internet data usage so practically one is unlimited but you're just given one IP address why the other one is completely as many IP address as they can afford to give at a point in time but the data is capped so if you get up to a particular limit you know you stop now one of the biggest question I see new people ask um, ask around when you get to use the okay bot is what would you recommend I use? Should I use you know the data caps or should I use the unlimited? Now the answer lies on what you would want to do with your you know okay bot. Now if you want to be driving traffic to your websites, um, you know impressions, page views, I would recommend you buy you know um, data capped that's because loading a website will take very minimal data and you can buy like 10 gig and it will last you a month to generate more than 2 million page views and, and 3 million impressions because you will keep just opening the page navigating around the page I don't think you would have issues you know with that number of data now if you're doing YouTube 10 gig of data can finish in two days because if your video is something that is high quality then buying data doesn't really make sense now in as much as you're going to be getting your views from so many IP addresses but then you have to actually pay through the news so the rule of thumb is if you're coming on board for a website data capped pros is always the best and if you're coming on board for YouTube loading or a streaming platform like Audio Mac or Spotify, then um, unlimited uh, static IPs are the best. Now, I will teach you on how to use both of them and what works best for each of them. Now, for this case, which is the case we're actually working on, we're trying to, let's say for instance, get a YouTube channel monetized. Now, this simply means that we're not going to be going for um residential process we're going to be going for unlimited um, residential process now there are different kind of residential process we have um residential process which is a normal one we have the unlimited residential process this is when they give you lots of residential process and then finally we have the static residential process now i'm going to start with telling you which is best for which so for instance, on our target right now, we have a couple of YouTube channels we want to get monetized. We want to monetize this YouTube channel by reaching the watch hours. In order for us to reach the watch hours, we want to be able to stream these videos. And in order for this streaming to count, we have to do it using, you know, um, different IP addresses. So the first question would be, how many watch hours in a day do we want to um, arrive at now basically everything has to be properly calculated I see a lot of people come up turn on the boat and they just try to drive traffic um, unlimitedly without having like a plan um, before now you have to have a plan before you actually get started so today I'm going to walk you through to the plan I'll be using now I never wanted to make this video public because I would have to like go through the YouTube channels I would be doing this for and try to drive traffic to them using the bots. Now the only problem I think I have is even if we get to the end of this, even if we're able to get these channels monetized, I know some 
people who will be watching these videos would want to go report to YouTube that the channel was monetized off bots and then YouTube seeing the video tutorial which is what you're watching right now on how to do this would simply just go verify and that means the channel we, we, we end up monetizing in this tutorial might get demonetized but I think if we don't do it this way you might not be able to learn so this is like a necessary evil that we would have to do um, in order for you to learn this. So um, just to state this, this tutorial is strictly for educational purposes. We do not recommend you use this to violate any policy of Google. We only do this to show you how you can automate virtually anything on OKBots. Okay and on this series, we're going to be automating browsers to open up and stream videos on a YouTube channel. And let's see how these browsers can gain watch hours if they're coming from different IP addresses. And um, let's get into it.